Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Coca-Cola Twain Inflatable Pack Raft. When it comes to personal watercrafts, you typically have three categories to choose from. Fleet kayaks, versatile canoes, or utilitarian rafts. The Coca-Cola Twain is a two-person inflatable that blends a line between canoes and rafts. Coca-Cola describes the Twain as a canoe-style pack raft as it combines the streamlined shape of a canoe with the flat bottom raft construction. You can see the packaging is very sleek here. You have nice crisp graphics, pretty small box considering this is a two person inflatable. And then you have a breakdown on the back of the whole Coca-Cola lineup. So they have everything from whitewater rafting, adventure series that you can just throw in your backpack to lake style kayaks that we've actually reviewed. So the Twain fits in the lake series and again, blends the kind of features of a canoe with some of the versatility of the raft. It's a very small package. You can see a very small box and a very compact and portable design. So we'll go ahead and take it out of the box and go over those specs. Retail price on this is $1,300. There's also an optional $150 tie zip feature. And that adds some storage inside the raft itself, which is really cool. This is a canoe style pack raft again. So something you can take to the lake, throw in your backpack. It's only 13.6 pounds, which is really impressive. And it has a 600 pound capacity. So you can take two people, dogs, children. So very versatile and very impressive considering the lightweight. It's a class one flat water design. So primarily for lakes, bays, and it's constructed of TPU and a Kevlar blend floor. In terms of what is included, you get the EVA back rest for each seat. And on the inside, you can see the kayak itself is nicely rolled up. We'll pull that out. So very compact again, only 13.6 pounds. And this is essentially the size of a sleeping bag. So very compact. You also have the fin. And this is actually compatible with motors too. It's the American standard size. So you can swap this out, but you get the standard fin with it. You get the repair kit in this little watertight bag that you can actually take on the water with you. So this has a patch kit. It's a dual chamber design, so it is a pretty safe one. You don't have to worry about. You have the inflation bag. So it's kind of a cool setup. You can actually inflate this actually the seat. So you inflate it by hand, by your mouth here. You get two of these obviously for each seat. You have an inflation bag, which is kind of crazy. So obviously being designed for hiking or adventures, you don't want to carry a pump all the time. So you can actually just inflate this by hand and then pump it up. So obviously you do want to use a pump if you're going to use go to a local lake. You don't mind carrying something as it speeds up the installation. Seat backs and then the compression straps, which I think are already installed over here on the bottom. So these, uh, these will secure the seats. And that's about it. So very compact design that you can easily throw in a backpack and take to a lake. Now let's go over the setup of the Twain pack raft. As with any inflatable boat, there's a little bit of assembly required and inflation. Here we have it unrolled and you can see it's about 10 feet long. There are two chambers, one on the front and one on the rear. Here we're using the Coca-Cola feather pump, which is a nice portable rechargeable pump. It's only designed to go up to about 0.2 to 0.3, well under the one PSI they recommend. So it's a great way to really speed up the inflation as the inflation bag that's included is a little bit ridiculous. So it takes about 10 minutes per chamber. So something you don't want to really mess with, especially if you're going to a lake or somewhere nearby and wait, it's not that big of an issue. The next thing you want to do is set up the seats. You have to hand inflate the bottom using the inflation tube attached to it. And then there's a little buckle that holds it in place. Then the seat back attaches using the two compression straps and the attached buckle. So you can see this is where you have leeway as far as setup. This is the all the way back position, but you can move it forward as long as you're within that square those four uh, buckle attachment points. And then you want to just adjust the tension so it's tight and it'll hold it in place. So once you're sitting on it, if there's enough tension, it's really comfortable despite being so simple. 
repeat the process for the front one. Again, they're identical. And again, here you can adjust it forward or backward depending on who's taller or how much space you need. So again, tighten it up and you're ready to ride after that essentially. The last step is to put the fin on there, which we're not showing. You just flip it over, slide it in place with the locking tab. Now, before we get on the water, I want to show you the leg and storage space. You can see here with two people and me in the rear at 6'1", there really isn't that much space to spare. If you have bags or other gear, you probably have to put it between your feet or alternatively on the front where there's four different hooks. So you can put a bungee cord or something on them. You can also adjust the seating position forward and backwards. So if you have someone shorter or taller, you can accommodate that. You also want to note that the floor here is non-rigid. So you can see it's just a thin layer. So it feels a little bit unnerving on the water. It actually feels soft and pudgy and protrudes downward, which can slow the boat down slightly. Now, as far as the performance on the water, it works pretty well. It's obviously not the fastest thing out there. It has a little bit more of a streamlined shape, so it's faster than a typical raft, but nowhere near a long, sleek kayak. As far as the tracking, you can see there is a little bit of left to right wiggle, and that just depends on who's stronger and if someone's really pushing but it does perform well and you can also navigate really easily. So it's very nimble on the water being an inflatable design. It's really easy to turn so you can take sharp corners and with two people powering the boat, you can also go fairly fast and further distances. You can also set this up as a one person configuration. Then you have tons of space on the front and rear. So if you have a dog or you're just going solo, that's also a good option. So you get the longer space and you can carry more gear. Being an inflatable design, obviously you want to make sure it's inflated to the proper amount, which is pretty easy to do here. It's only one PSI. So we found that nice and easy to set up and it's so lightweight that it's really a nice thing to have. You can throw it in your backpack and you can carry it by yourself unlike other ones, which can be a little more bulky. So overall, we were impressed with it. It's a fun boat. It's a great way to explore harbors or flatter water. And if you go on the rougher stuff, it is a little bit low. So I do recommend sticking to the class one rating. Now, as with any inflatable, you have to break it down to here. It's pretty simple. And again, it's just so lightweight. You can see how fast it rolls up. You pretty much have to deflate the seat bottom by just holding it down and opening the valve, remove the compression straps. Make sure you don't lose them. That's one downside. They don't really attach to anything. So you want to make sure you keep them attached to the seat. Here you can see the fin and that soft bottom. So you can see there's really nothing there. Again, we use the feather pump to deflate it, which makes it really easy. And then you can roll it up. You want to make sure you clean this, so don't store it this dirty unless you want to get mold. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Twain Packraft. What we like about it is the compact size. It folds down to about the size of a large sleeping bag, which is really impressive given the fact that it's a two-person, 10-foot raft. It's also lightweight and easy to set up and break down, so there's not that many components. So you spend more time on the lake instead of on the shore. And with the two-person, 600-pound configuration, it's a really fun way to explore with a friend, whether it's your spouse or a dog. Some of the cons for the pack raft is the fact that it's premium price, so it's a bit spendy, but in line with the competitors. And it does not include a bag or paddle, so you have to make sure you buy some folding paddles and have some way to store it. Also, with the two-person configuration, if you have a taller person there, there's limited leg and storage space, which is why I'd recommend that $150 high zip upgrade if you want to bring gear with you. Taking everything into account, we'd give the Twain an 8.8 .8 out of 10. It's a fun, portable two-person pack raft. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.